In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to implement a parallax scrolling effect in Godot Engine. Make sure to download and open the project I've provided in the description of this video. The scene consists of a tile map and a player object. Feel free to start the game and walk around. Create a parallax background node and add it as a first child to the scene. This node is basically a container for parallax layer nodes. Within the Parallax folder, I've prepared five different backgrounds we can use as a Parallax background effect. Add a Parallax layer node to the Parallax background and also attach a sprite node as a child. Then duplicate the Parallax layer node three times. There should be now a total of four sprite nodes in your scene tree. One by one, we are now dragging the textures from the Parallax folder into the texture attribute of each of the sprites. When starting the game, you will see a background, however the background doesn't repeat and there is no real parallaxing in place yet. In order to make the background repeat, we need to head back to the parallax layer and set the mirroring attribute on it. We set the x value to 1440 on all parallax layers we have. When now starting the game, the background should repeat correctly. We are now heading back to our parallax layer and modifying the scale attribute, which controls the intensity of the parallax scrolling. A higher value than 1 basically means that the object is in front of you and a lower value means it is further away. I'm gonna pick a value of 0.1 for parallax layer 3 and a value of 0.2 for parallax layer 4. However, feel free to pick your own values. Also make sure to set the motion scale of parallax layer 2 to 0 as we don't want the clouds to move with us. To make things visually more interesting, we are now adding a second parallax background and adding it as a last child to the scene tree. Assign the last parallax image as sprite texture. On the parallax layer itself, we are now setting the mirroring attribute and setting it to 1440. However, this time we're gonna set the scale value to something larger than 1, because the object is in front of us rather than behind. By default, the layer of the parallax background is minus 100, but since this layer is supposed to be in front of us, we need to change it. This tutorial is almost finished, but I have one more thing I wanna do with you. Do you see these clouds. Let's make them move. Attach a new script to the parallax layer 2 and call it cloudlayer.gd. Specify an export variable of type float with the name cloud speed and assign the value minus 15 to it. Now implement the process function by incrementing the x value of the motion offset by the product of the cloud speed and the frame delta. Starting the game now should show moving clouds in the background. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to join my Discord and also subscribe to this YouTube channel. See you next time.